The gap between the kitchen and the bar is closing, and a well-planned cocktail is just as important as your main dish. Today, super uber mixologist Frankie Solaric joins us to demystify the cocktail and show you tips and tricks to impress your friends and family. That book right there, The Bar Chef, was released how many years ago? Two. And you received what sort of critical acclaim? I was shortlisted for the Gourmand World Cookbook Awards in Paris, Yes, France. you were. Woo. That's huge. Oh. You really take it, like, you up the game when it comes to drinks, so much so... Drake Drizzy likes to stop by the bar chef <laughs> resto does. slash bar. So yeah. does Jay Z, mm -hmm. and they really want to see what you're up to because you can't get what you make anywhere else in the world. That's right. They're all original recipes. We take a you know very innovative and original approach to the craft. For okay, sure. Okay, let's get to it. Okay. We want so, some of your tricks. We want yeah. to steal some. Absolutely. So we're going to be making a few cocktails today featuring uh, Krabby's ginger beer. Uh, my approach is an artisanal approach to cocktails. I like to make everything in house basically, and that's really what separates my direction and my approach to the craft. So we're going to be talking about making some. Stuff at home. We're gonna make two cocktails today. Okay. Our first one is the thyme rum and crabby spritz. So. And you like this because it is a craft beer. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Okay. It's like full on. Like it's available at the RCBO. It's like ginger steet. So it's like it's it's an amazing ginger beer. It's wow. awesome for sure. It's, it's like the mixologist's choice. Okay. For sure. So our first one, our thyme rum and crabby spritz. So we're gonna start off with. One ounce of fresh lime juice. Okay, seems simple enough because you said you want to make it doable as well. If you have to go and buy like 30 different things, no one's going to do it. Absolutely, that's right. And this is our vanilla simple syrup. So How we're going to do one it? ounce of that as well. So we're basically going to put three quarters of an ounce of vanilla extract with one liter of um, water, two okay. cups of sugar, bring it up to a boil. Let it simmer for 15 minutes, take it off, and you're good to go. Yum. And this is our thyme infused spice rum. Thyme infused, because I said yep. you have basil, parsley, That's right. rosemary, thyme, and you infuse all these things with different liqueurs. That's and right. Simple syrups. Absolutely, for sure. And that's really what separates our approach because, you know, we're taking that, you know, culinary approach to the cocktail program, right? So, so for example, what would you use this basil with? Basil goes beautifully with anything like, you know, fresh fruits like uh, pineapple, orange as well. Like, you can do all kinds of really amazing stuff with basil because it's such a herbaceous floral note to it. Parsley. Parsley, we pair with, uh, we did a cocktail actually called the Heirloom Caesar, which is tomato water base with pickle beet, horseradish. We did uh, fried capers. Ooh, yeah, it was, it's amazing for sure. Thyme. Fresh thyme, we, uh, like we did, we infused in the uh, spiced rum. Yeah. Uh, you can also in incorporate that with uh, whiskeys, like a darker note, like whiskeys, bourbons, for sure. Rosemary. Rosemary again, bourbon. A chocolate, white chocolate as well. White Orange blossom water. Drinks. That's the idea. Like, because they all have these volatile compound structures that pair so well with a lot of different flavors. So it's not as intimidating as you think. Like to be able to do this, you just need a little bit of a, of a guideline. Like the book, for example, goes really into depth about that as well. So. Okay, so you had the lime juice, lime you had juice. the vanilla syrup, yep. simple syrup, yep. and the um, thyme, thyme infused rum. rum. That's right. We're then gonna add some nice ice in there. So would you say this is sweet? Is it like a whiskey sour? What's um, it like? It's acidic. I mean, it's, it's like a classic cocktail. It's similar, you know, to some classic cocktails that are out there incorporating, you know, ginger beer. Um, it's, it's fresh lime juice, so it's bitter. It's quite a citrus forward, acidic. Um, and, it, you know, we don't put too much vanilla syrup, simple syrup in there because the reason we incorporate simple syrups is to add viscosity and mouthfeel. In the same way that you have a wine, you would drink like, you know, um, a Chardonnay as compared to a Sauvignon Blanc. Okay. Sauvignon Blanc is quite light on the palate. Awesome. Yeah, and then we're so going to top give up. It a stir oh, you're Done. We gotta top up with our four ounces of ginger beer. Okay. All oh, right, the ginger beer. Boom. We mm, need it that. smells really fresh. We need that guy in there. It's a shame we can't drink on live TV, right. but it smells. But we can smell it. Amazing. Wow. Here we go. And what do you have here? I heard this. Was it this took three months to make? This. Uh, that's our raisin bitter. Yeah. So. Because okay, so because I make everything in house at Bar Chef, um, this is our raisin bitter. So all these spices that you see here in the front, so we incorporate cardamom. There's star anise, uh, there's fennel, black pepper, cloves, wow. cinnamon, licorice root, raisins, of course. We all put that. We put that in a mason jar and we top it up with rye and then we let it steep for three months and then we strain it out and then we are ready to serve. This and that, really is a labor of love, like such absolutely. a passion. You see all the work that goes in. It's like gold, right? Yeah. Three months. Went right? into that. Absolutely. We have, like, at the bar, I've got about 20,000 ounces of liquid constantly infusing. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. For more information, breakfasttelevision.ca. Go check out the bar chef. Where are you guys located? 472 Queen Street West. Queen Street West. You yeah. never know who you're going to see. Right now, over to Kevin Frankish in the newsroom. Thank you.